Okay, this is size 10 Osprey hook equivalent to B175 or B170 size 10 you can use size 12, 14 I'm going to start from here by using Uni Ato block thread let's cut the base piece let's come back up again and stop there using a cock huckle this soft hand huckle sorry um, I always use my put my huckle before anything else I use it's easier for me to tie the fly like this you can use normal if you find it easier this way do it otherwise just do it normal now this is the red holographic tinsel I'm going to use for tug also for ribbing as well so touch and turn keep going all the way down and just a couple of more turn and then come back up again and just stop just around there and again just use this touch and turn to build up a nice holographic tag that's better and just catch it a couple of turn then bring it back now this is I'm going to use it as ribbing as well now just come back where you begin the start begin bring the fly and for this dubbing I'm going to use again either you can use silver or any soft synthetic dubbing it's a block with a tinge of orange in it so again just kind of like to have had quite a lot of being there that's enough and you need a hackle plier <coughs> just use hackle plier if you find it easier using your hand a couple of turns and then one two three or four turn and use same thread to secure the half hole and come back towards the eye and then use your ribbing that's it one two three that's three turns and just to secure it again Pull everything back and skewer it. Cut the waste piece again. And use a dubbing brush just to spread the hackle equally around the hook. Much better now for the shoulder. I mean, I'm going to be using the cock huckle red, you need a bit longer fiber, so just take these bits off. You can see I'm going to be using these top end of the longer huckle, so I need about a few of them. That's better. Just pull all these feather bark. Let's catch it here. Pull it back. 
secure it nicely and take a waste piece off. And pull them back again. Nicely. You can use a you can use a huckle plier. It's entirely up to you. That's better. Let's secure it. Let's better. Let's set the dubbing brush again to spread these red fibers equal equally around the hook. That's better. Now, to finish off, I'm going to be using the hen huckle again, which is a bit thicker feather, which is, as you can see, this bottom of the and these are really nice feathers so I'm gonna pull one out the proper one Oops. kind of take these fiber off and again I'm gonna be using the top one so um yeah just about pull it out and as you can see these are nice fiber so catch it Secure it properly, it's a very st thick stem, you know. So, make sure you take your time on this thing and then secure it again in case they slip out. Now, that's better. Could add some varnish on the thread. Now I'm going to use a huckle plier because it's a bit short feather so sometimes they do slip so just take your time nicely bring them back and then each turn you do just hold them on nicely and that's it. Just catch it gently. Hold the tension. I'm going to pull this stem back to completely scale it in case. Spin the thread again. Now we finish. Really nice fly, I mean, very successful around this time of year. Basically, if you catch a brown trout or something, as you can see. Now, the final part is to just add some varnish. So, this is Bibio Crippler, another variation of Rob Denson. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. Hope to see you again soon.